an important subject. God's plan of salvation. Therefore, just as through one man sin entered in the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men, because all sinned, Romans 5 verse 12, but all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3 23. Be honest now. For the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6 23. But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 and verse 8. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which also you received and in which you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast that word which I preach to you, unless you believed in vain. For I deliver to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 for God did not send his son into the world to condemn, to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved John 3, verse 17. I'm reading these scriptures, but I know them off by heart, but I like to read them. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. He who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides upon him. Oh, that's serious, very serious. John 3, verse 36. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, verse 16. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. John 1 and verse 12. For by grace you have been saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest anyone should boast. Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. Revelations 3, verse 20. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Romans 10, verses 8. 8 to 10. Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him will I also confess before my Father who is in heaven. Matthew 10, 32. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. 1 John 5 verses 11 to 13. Be blessed and believe these words and take them into your heart.